Prime Minister Modi has always been a strong proponent of self-reliance that is Atmanirbhar Bharat especially in strategic sectors in this way forward PM will commission the first indigenous aircraft carrier INS Vikrant at the Cochin Shipyard Limited in Kochi on 2nd September 2022 With this India joins a select group of nations having niche capability to indigenously design build and integrate a state of the art aircraft carrier the success story of INS has numerous counts let's dive into the many folds of Vikrant With 76% of indigenous content in construction, INS Vikrant has a large number of made in India materials such as steel besides other equipment manufactured by the Indian industrial houses. Notably, around 550 Indian firms including about 100 MSMEs have provided various services for the construction of INS. It is built at India's largest ship building and maintenance facility Cochin Shipyard Limited by more than 2000 CSL personnel along with 12000 employees in ancillary industries. It is pertinent to note that the indigenous construction of the carrier has generated immense employment opportunities and bolstered the flow back effect in the economy. In totality, close to 2000 shipyards and 13000 non-yard personnel have been employed per annum towards the construction of INS. INS Vikrant once enters services in the Indian Navy will provide the essential requirement of an aircraft carrier in an airfield at sea. It is a warship with a long flat deck for fighter jets to take off and land. With its induction, the warship will be a key component of the Indian Navy's push to establish itself as a blue water force, a force with an ability to project its power on distant seas. It is especially important amid India's bid to be a net security provider in the Indian Ocean region. In August 2021, INS Vikrant began sea trials off the coast of Kochi. The maiden attempt of the Indian Navy and CSL put India on the exclusive list of a handful of countries that have the capability to indigenously design and build an aircraft carrier. Interestingly, the indigenous aircraft carrier will carry the name Indian Naval Ship INS Vikrant, the same as the Indian Navy's first aircraft carrier which was decommissioned in 1997 after 35 years of glorious service to the nation. The state of the art INS Vikrant is a mini floating city with a flight deck area covering the size of two football fields. The ship is 262 meters long, 62 meter at the widest part and has a height of 59 meters including the superstructure. The ship comprises 14 docks in all along with 5 in the superstructure. Further, it has 2300 compartments designed to cater to a crew of around 1700 people including customized cabins to accommodate women officers. For the first time in the country, the size of an aircraft carrier is completely modeled in 3D and production drawings are extracted from the 3D model. Notably, Vikrant has a top speed of around 28 knots and a cruising speed of 18 knots with an endurance of about 7500 nautical miles. The ship can accommodate an assortment of fixed wing and rotary aircraft. The largest and most complex warship of Indian INS Vikrant is a shining example of the nation's quest for Atmanirbhar Bharat and Make in India initiative. Well that is all for today's segment. Thank you for watching PBNS.